Welcome back to Good Day Sun Law. Ronnie Schwartz joins us to preview the Red Dragon 5K for St. Jude. Ronnie, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we always love to come on and talk about St. Jude. Of course, yes, and St. Jude's does so much for those around the country and especially here back at home too. And so I know this is a great way to raise funds and give back to them. Tell me more about it. Okay, well, this will be our fourth year that we've had this race and it's done it out at England Airport. It'll be um, September 30th uh, out there by where the old uh, the uh, bowling alley was actually where the new community center is, is going to be our staging area. Uh, so we'll have bathrooms, real nice air area and air conditioned for any of the runners that need it. Uh, we've done it every year and it's the red reason why it's called the red wagon is because the wagon is used as a mode of transportation for the patients when they're going from appointments to appointments. And so uh, we, we had one of our members decide that you know we need to represent the wagon and so we threw it in there and our, our metal shows it and it's grown. Uh, we raise, we do very well. Uh, we try to, uh, it's one of the biggest events that we do. We get all the sponsors locally and uh, they've always been willing to. Uh, Clico has been our uh, title sponsor for the last three years and so it's important to get the sponsor there because whatever you bring in that's what you're going to make and so our registration has opened up and so we're trying to, to build that as, as much as we can until the race day. Fantastic and you know it's great to raise money for St. Jude's because you know they offer their services to families you know tell us more about that for people who may not know and may not have experienced St. Well, Jude's. A lot of people don't understand that Central Louisiana has a large base of St. Jude patients. Uh, it, it averages between 35 and 40 kids in Central Louisiana either going back getting care or going back for treatments and so we just think it's very important because these kids are in our, in our schools and uh, and there are we have several patients families that are on our team that we represent and so uh, you know they don't have any money out of the pocket to go to St. Jude uh, they try to cover every cost possible uh, for these and if you're out of work you know you've got to worry about you know how you're going to pay bills uh, for travel, food expense, lodging, it depends on how long you, they're going to be there. It's their form and that's something that you know what we do, what we raise might be a little bit of money but it goes towards something and this year one of our goals was to raise in seven years was to eventually get to a million dollars and we've also always surpassed this, the million dollar mark and uh, this year we're sitting around 160,000 and by the time we make the trip in December we're going to be at 250. Wow, wow so, that is fantastic. Yeah. And what does that feel like to go take that that big check over to St. Jude's at the end of the year. Uh, it's good and we've got a lot of recognition recognition for it and we're a small team. We, we, we compete against teams that are four times bigger than us and this year we were smaller than we've ever been but the amount of money that we have raised so far is going to be unbelievable. Absolutely. Well, and, and it's a great way to really give back to St. Jude's. Yeah. They're registering for this race and participating. Tell us how we do that. Okay, it's on Run Sign Up. If you uh, go to Run Sign Up, just all you have to put in the uh, search bar is Red Wagon. It should pull it straight up, and you can sign up online there. Uh, we even have a donation link if you uh, want to make a donation to it. Uh, but it, it's 100% of what we raise for this race will go to St. Jude. That is fantastic. And is there a deadline to sign up for the race? Uh, no, we'll have race day registration. It'll be just a little bit more, so you'll save maybe $5 right now. Uh, but what it does, it gives us a count on shirts because we have to order race shirts. And so uh, the week before the event, we try to get as much as we can. We will order a few extra, so we'll make sure they get a race shirt. Fantastic. And there is a QR code on the screen right now yes. that people can scan. Scan it, it goes straight to it. Couldn't be easier. I didn't make that. I didn't know how to do that. I had a friend of mine do it, but it works and uh, it, it helps us. You could have taken the credit for it. Nobody can, would have known. I, uh, <laughs> I couldn't have done that. I'm not crazy about the little dinosaur. Yeah, that's, yeah, I get that. Well, but it's still a great thing to participate in. Remind us again what time it starts, what day it okay. is, and where you can meet. Seven, uh, September 30th, okay. and the race will start at 8 o'clock, okay. followed by a red wagon pull. Uh, just the registration starts at 7 all the way up to 7.45. Race will start at 8 o'clock. Fantastic. Ronnie, thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate Tell us it. all about it. We appreciate it so much. Thank you. Of course. And we'll be right back with more Good Day Sun Live right after this break.